Norma Jean looked like the girl next door, and I thought I could make her into something quite marketable in a short length of time. She was very beautiful in a clean-cut, American, wholesome way. Too plump, you would Mrs. say. Mrs. Emmeline Snively heads the Blue Book Model Agency, where Norma Jean underwent her first extensive alteration. Magazine covers. We taught her photographic modeling, how to pose, how to handle your body, smile. She was always trying to lower her smile because she smiled too high and that made her nose a little long. She had a different kind of knees than other girls. She couldn't just relax her knees and walk smoothly, but every time she'd take a step, her knees would go all the way back and make her bounce. Eager, determined to learn. Norma Jean was quickly successful as a model. Her face and body, she was discovering, could be her ticket to the world. When Dorothy objected to her new career, she divorced him. Now she was free, 20, and on her way. In 1946, her appearance on five magazine covers in a month led to a beginner's contract at 20th Century Fox. Reluctantly, she traded her name for a new one. Marilyn Monroe. I didn't have an opportunity to do anything, actually, during the year that I was there at 20th Century Fox the first time, except one part in Scudder Who's Got a Hay, and I was cut out of it. And then they dropped me. She was thought of as a joke by many people. And uh, I think this hurt her very deeply because she was very serious. She was this is guy. Harry Lipton, Marilyn's first motion picture agent. At clock at night, I told Marilyn when Fox had uh, dropped her option, and her immediate reaction was the world had crashed around her ears and unhappiness and tears. And then typical of Marilyn, she shook her head, set her jaw, and said, well, it really doesn't matter. After all, it's a case of supply and demand. 